morning everyone and welcome back to my channel Hattie Homemaking. So today I wanted to film another homemaking vlog. So far I have done a sort of relaxing homemaking day when I wasn't working. I've done a work day and today is a Sunday and it is snowing outside which is really exciting. It looks so stunning. I just can't stop looking out the window. So, so far I've had a really lazy morning. It's about 12 no it's not it's about 11 o'clock <laughs> and I'm still in my pajamas I've just had three cups of tea this morning cuddles with this little munchkin <laughs> sorry Murphy oh bless him he was all comfy then I'm sorry um, and I've just been relaxing watching some YouTube videos so I thought today would be a nice sort of relaxing homemaking day I think I'm going to do a little bit of baking a little bit of cleaning I did some cleaning yesterday actually about three hours of it it was one of those days where you know you just get a bee in your bonnet and you just have to go crazy so I just wanted to sort of take you through this more relaxing homemaking day and you can see what I get to, up to on a sort of more late Easy Sunday in the cold with the snow. I'm sorry if I keep like looking in this direction, it's because the window is right there and I just can't stop looking at the snow because it's that really like picturesque snow that falls really gently and they're like small and <laughs> trying to explain why I find the snow so stunning is actually quite difficult, but it's that sort of like movie style snow. So Murphy has just laid down on my knee. So I'm probably gonna be stuck in this position for another half an hour. So I just wanted to welcome you to this vlog and yeah, I really hope you enjoy another homemaking vlog here on my channel. So Paul is just out doing the food shop and so I've just done a quick refresh of the fridge. I can't say it's the best it's ever looked but I feel like this is just reality for a lot of people. So we keep our vegetables in here. Um, this is our meat tray. I keep raw meat in this um, like Tupperware thing so that it doesn't 
go into any of the other food. This is dairy. This is pre-cooked or just easy meals. And then up here we keep drinks and sauces. But I've got the majority of our sauces at the side here. So that's just a quick little refresh. And then Paul's getting some more food right now which i will restock the fridge with and then since i've just shown you the fridge i thought i'd just show you a little bit of our cupboard organization as well so i don't really do anything fancy for cupboard organization i use these mason jars for just a couple of things to keep them fresh um we have a noodle and pasta box here all our tins are on the second shelf i've sort of labeled everything as you can see i'm obsessed with labels and then our drinks and marshmallows to go with drinks and stuff are at the top there. So I'm thinking of doing like a full kitchen tour of organization and some organization hacks. Um, so this is a cupboard that I've actually got less organized, but I have got a lot of like different mod cons and different Tupperware things that I think would be really useful for people to know about. So I think soon in the next couple of weeks, I will probably do a kitchen tour along with some storage hacks. So for this section of the vlog I wanted to do some of my favourites and some of the things I've been loving at the moment because I feel like I never really get a chance to sort of talk about these things without making like a huge big video on about it. Sometimes you just want to mention something quickly so I thought I'd just run through some of the things I've been loving at the moment both in terms of beauty, YouTube channels, skincare, all things like that. So I'm just going to get on and quickly show you some of my favourite things at the moment. So the first is by far the thing that has been giving me the most excitement this month <laughs> and that is my new perfume which is the La Vie Est Belle perfume. Oh my goodness gracious me it literally is the best smelling thing I have ever smelled in my life. Usually I go for less expensive perfumes but I got a voucher for Christmas so I thought I'd treat myself to this after seeing loads of people raving about it. So I thought I would just give it a go and it is so worth it. I feel like it's gonna last me ages because two or three sprays really does last all day. And I find with a lot of my perfumes, sorry, my eye is watering. I don't know what's going on with my eye today. Just this one just keeps watering. I must have something in it. Um, but yeah, I, I find a lot of perfumes, you spray them and they smell great for an hour and then the smell kind of just goes. But with this, it really, really does linger. I think I sprayed it and then about three or four hours, Paul said, have you just sprayed something? And I was like, no, <laughs> it's seriously just this amazing perfume. So it is more expensive, but I feel like over the long run, because you need to spray less, I feel like it will actually last and it's just the best smelling thing in the entire world. I just cannot stop spraying it. I even spray it before bed sometimes because I just love the smell of it that much. So now I want to go on to two of my skincare favourites. I feel like my skin has really been playing ball recently and I've gotten a really good routine. I am going to share a full skincare routine soon because I really have transfer for... I can't speak. <laughs> I really have transformed my skin in the last month. I do struggle with hormonal breakouts and then it just looks kind of dull and yeah, just not the best, but I've really, really been working on it and I found some things that just work amazing. So I wanna share the whole routine with you, but just in this vlog, I wanted to quickly talk about this like silicone face brush. I've been looking at these for ages and I've heard a couple of other people speaking about them on YouTube but if I'm honest I kind of just thought they were talking about them because it was sponsored or gifted or something like that so I kind of ignored it for a while but I thought I would just give it a try because I use like a flannel to take off my makeup and then afterwards I try and just use my hand because I know flannels they harbour bacteria but what's good about these silicone face brushes is they don't harbour any bacteria so the routine I have been using is using an oil based cleanser to get my makeup off then you using the flannel to wipe all of that away and then I use a foaming cleanser with this and it really exfoliates my skin as well and I feel like it's been helping with just the general softness and it feels so clean afterwards. I've seen such an improvement in less breakouts and things like that because my skin just feels super super clean. So if you haven't already got one of these and you've done the same as me and like kind of heard about them and then sat on them for ages then I definitely recommend giving this a go. I will link this one that I use below but I think there's loads of different types of ones so just 
have a little research into silicone vibrating face brushes. The next skincare thing is a bit of a strange one, but I've known about this for years and then I just kind of forgot about it and it's actually using Sudocreme. So it's actually like a skincare like ointment thing that people use for babies rashes, <laughs> which is just lovely. But honestly, my eyes crying again. I find if you use this Sudocreme on like a spot that's just starting to go, it really dries out and it's just gone within like a day or two. So I really recommend using Sudocreme. I just wanted to bring that up in case anyone didn't know because it's such a game changer for me in making spots go faster. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is these stunning earrings. I'll show you them up close. So they're these pearly ones and then these sort of like burgundy ones. I was actually sent these by a girl um, who reached out to me on Instagram and asked me to send me some earrings. I couldn't believe it because I've not really got a big channel or anything. And I'd had a little look at her profile and it just looks so stunning. And it's not just the earrings I love about this. I just love this year how so many people have decided to get little side hustles and have started doing creative things like this and selling them on Etsy. I just think it really is admirable to take a situation like this year and to turn it into something positive, like creating a little business like this. And who knows what could come of it because, I mean, I just think they are so stunning. And I had a little look on the Etsy shop as well that this girl has and there's so many different designs and they're really really affordable so if you were to buy these in a shop you'll be probably spending about like 10 times the price so I am going to link her Instagram and Etsy shop below I really hope she does get some customers from this I feel guilty accepting a gifted item when I'm not 100% sure if I have enough followers for people to go and have a look at her shop so it really would mean a lot to me if you do go and have a little look at what she sells and see if there's anything that you like the next thing I wanted to talk about is some YouTube channels that I've really been liking so first of all I wanted to mention Fairyland Cottage which is a girl who lives in Ireland in a house it looks like in the middle of the woods and she just lives this really simple quiet lifestyle and her videos are all about that and she takes you through her day her accent is just like butter it's like the nicest thing to listen to ever and she says at the start of her videos welcome to Furryland Cottage <laughs> I just love it so I really recommend checking out her videos. They really make me feel really calm and peaceful, especially when I've had a particularly busy day myself. I find sometimes it's just nice to live through someone else. And even though that's not my life right now and couldn't be my life right now, it's just really nice to take that time out to listen to it and just find it super relaxing. The next person I wanted to mention is Love Mrs. Brooks, who is a homemaker here on YouTube. But I hadn't heard of her for a while and under very unfortunate and heartbreaking circumstances, she came into my recommended feed and it's because basically she's a homemaker and she's recently lost a husband and she didn't have life insurance and her one message she really wants to get out there to housewives and homemakers is about life insurance and making sure that you have that planned but unfortunately she didn't plan for that at the time obviously none of us do and it's just really heartbreaking so again it would mean a lot to me if you could go into my description click on her channel subscribe and watch as many of her videos as you're interested in and let the ads play out as well because that will help her financially so I know I don't have a big channel and it might not be that many people but if you do have the time in your day it will really help this girl out if just everyone who watches this video heads over to her channel as well which I will link below and then the final thing I wanted to mention is about hair care so I've been using this multi-peptide serum for hair density from the ordinary I find round here and around there my hairline has just kind of got like little chunks where the hair is very fine and light and it kind of looks like I've got a bit of a receding hairline <laughs> so I've been rubbing this into it every night and I have definitely noticed a difference and then I stopped using it for two weeks and then it did look even more fine again so I will link this below if if you do struggle with fine hair or just some areas in your hair that just aren't as thick as the rest, I really do think this works. So everything I've spoke about, YouTube channels, 
skincare perfume, everything I can find, I will link below so that it's easier for you to find. So now I'm gonna go into the kitchen. I'm actually going to make this lemon and ginger tonic that I've seen, which you can mix, well, you can either shot it, which I'm not gonna be doing, or you can mix it with boiling water and it's really good for digestion and your skin and just general health. So I'm gonna make that now. So that's the finished tonic what it looks like so I've been told that you sort of put a little bit at the bottom of a mug and then just fill it up with hot water so I'm gonna try this first thing tomorrow morning and I'll probably post in the comments or something how I get on but I'm just gonna wrap the top of that with some cling film it'll probably be better if you have some some sort of like sealed bottle it would probably be a little bit easier but I don't so I'm just gonna use this jug and then fill it with some cling film. So that is my lemon and ginger tonic all done. So I'm gonna do the dishes and have a little tidy up now and then I'm going to have like a cozy tea time. So I'm gonna get out my nice teapot and mugs and have a couple of biscuits and just relax in front of the TV for a little bit with Paul and Murphy.
So I'm going to do some baking now. I'm going to do a sprinkle cake, which I've already done in a video. Um, I did. I think it was my cosy evening routine, but this is my favourite recipe for cake. It goes down a treat every single time with family members and it's pretty much everyone's favourite. So Paul has requested this tonight. So I'm going to put on my apron that my friends got me for my birthday. I'll show you. It says Hattie's, Hattie Baking Queen. <laughs> So I'm gonna see if it'll even fit over this humongous jumper. It's literally so thick, this jumper. I feel huge in it. So I'm gonna bake this sprinkle cake quickly and then we can have it for dessert after our dinner. so it's now quite late it's pitch black and I've just finished baking and I've decided I'm going to end today's vlog the exact same way as I started it with this little munchkin on my knee <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna have some dinner now and have a little bit of that sprinkle cake with custard and then probably have a nice bath and on Sunday nights I like to have a little bit of a pamper session so that I just feel good and ready for the fresh week so i really hope you have enjoyed this homemaking vlog i hope you've enjoyed the more relaxed style i did get a comment about my music on another one of my vlogs and i'm actually so glad the person commented just basically saying that the music was just kind of like too dancey for a homemaking vlog and i completely agree it was like I kind of just didn't know what music to pick because you have to pick music that's copyright free so I didn't really fully understand how to search for different like genres of copyright music but I've worked it out now so I really hope you have noticed the sort of change in music in this vlog and that you have found it much more relaxing so I'm going to go now and have my dinner and I will see you in my next video.